Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today, we are doing a general guidance message for the sign of Scorpio. Now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? Please and thank you. Energy surrounding you, Scorpio, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. The Challenge here is the Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. The Outcome, we have the Death, the Two of Cups, the Three of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords energy. So Scorpio, there's a particular person on your mind here that's coming up in this message. I feel like you and this person are in separation. You and this person are not talking. Queen of Swords energy, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I do feel like this is a connection that you're, you still hold on to. Okay, there's something here that keeps you tied to this person. Now... Part of the challenge here is this has already come to an end. This chapter has already been closed. And this person is closed off to starting something new here. Okay. Now, in the outcome, the death energy, the two of cups, the three of swords, some sort of betrayal that's transpiring in your life that's causing you to walk away from a particular person. And I honestly feel like this message has been has come out before in your reading. It's like preparing you for the next phase, the next stage. So let's clarify. Now again, guys, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Four Scorpios energy. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? It's like you're watching this person from afar, thinking about past times, how things transpired between you and this person. I feel like there's a lot of reminiscing, Six of Cups energy with this person, um, and not necessarily in a conversation, but I feel like this is all in thought, all in theory. I definitely feel like this is a situation here, Scorpio, that has already ended. It's our, like you and this person are in separation, but this is a soulmate connection. And that's why you still have these thoughts. That's why you still think about this past person. I also feel like currently you may be involved with someone else. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Maybe your person is involved with someone else, but I feel like there's an exterior connection that's getting involved in the middle of this. There's another person, an outside force, an outside energy that's blocking this connection. And I feel like that outside force is about to be taken away. So it's like that connection is about to come to an end. And even if you can't see this, even if this person can't see this, this is about to transpire in real time. Now, the hanged man energy on the bottom of the clarifying deck, this is telling me that somebody's perspective is changing. So whether this is you, Scorpio, whether this is your person, this ending, Ten of Swords, 
is causing a person to look back at the past with you and look at it as if it wasn't so bad. Like whatever has happened for them currently, it's like uncomparable to how you guys ended to the relationship that you had and they're missing your energy as well. Tower on the bottom of the deck, Hierophant energy. This tells me this person was expecting to move on with this connection that's about to end. Now take it as it resonates, Scorpio. You are going to know your situation better than me. But I feel like this reading is telling you that this person, if this person is currently involved with another person, that's about to come to an end. If it's you that's currently involved with another person, then that is about to come to an end. Either way, there's a need to prepare. Prepare for a new beginning. If that's something that you want, of course. So let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Ten of Pentacles. Justice. King of Wands. The world, you see. There's a completion of a cycle. The world, these, all of these cards are symbolizing something is coming to an end. And I don't feel like that's a bad thing because this is something that you've been waiting for. This is something that this person, even if they haven't consciously thought about this, it's subconscious. Um, this is a soul tie connection. It's like soulmates and separation. Uh, but you guys are being prepared to be reunited. So the universe spirit guides whatever deity you pray to is making way for you and this person to come together. Trust the process here. The scales of justice energy is about to be rebalanced. What is my body telling me right now? Our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort. Our body sends messages for us to look more deeply. See the trapped emotions, the lurking fears, the beliefs that limit you. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get your healing on. Today's soul action. Get the book Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find the answer toward which your body is guiding you. So Scorpio, there's something here. And I'm not a doctor, so if you feel like your body is telling you to pay attention, maybe it's time to get a little check just to make sure everything's okay. Um, and again, I'm not a doctor, so I'm just saying what's coming up in the cards. I'm not predicting any health issues by any means. But if that's where your intuition is guiding you, for sure, take some time and tap in. Pull out the pendulum for those of you who would like a yes or no question. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? That is a yes. Scorpio, that is a yes. So Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on the rituals, the ritual kits, personal readings, the drawing that we're going to do at 20,000 subscribers, please check below in the description box. If you found the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Or better yet, you can comment below how it helped. You never know how your story could help another person. Thank you guys again, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.